We were the anti-nuclear capital of the world. I was an autistic kid. My father was a drafted United States Marine, an incredible man. I come from an incredible family. My uncle stood on Omaha Beach on DDA. I grew up on a huge ranch out by the lake. He was a beautiful, incredible person. He was at Pendleton, combat ready, and they were human guinea pig. They were marched into the trenches in Nevada. They're called atomic veterans. He nearly died at the blast. Between 1951 and 1968, we had 300 open air tests. Well, as different scientists started to write about this, Wallace Stegner was at the University of Utah at the time. I got to know him. Edward Abbey was hanging around there. I got to know him. I got to know all these environmentalists, and I was an environmentalist. And it was a passionate, intense subject matter there. All nuclear fighters, all hands on deck, all hands on deck, all hands on deck. All nuclear fighters, all hands on deck, all hands on deck, all hands on deck. They'll be calling you a radical. Plume Gate, 311, whatever you want to call it. I call it Pacific Genocide, whatever. It's fucking giant conspiratorial across all demographics. All nuclear fighters, all hands on deck, all hands on deck, all hands on deck. They'll be calling you a radical. All nuclear fighters, all hands on deck, all hands on deck, all hands on deck. Plume Gate, 311, whatever you want to call it. I call it Pacific Genocide, whatever. It's fucking giant conspiratorial across all demographics. They'll be calling you a radical. May God have mercy on all of your souls. Nuclear power was evolving. We were promised, oh, this can't happen again. Well, good morning, all you in your dog, my Snuggies. Come out for just a minute. I got a new computer. I've been trying to work on it and set it up. You know how that goes with us old geezers. But anyway, you got a lot of talk about Ogma Burgers freaking are galore. The whole Alaska study really pisses me off. FDA, and it's not, we all know what the FDA was up to. We all know that they just raised the limits. We all know what those scumbags are. We know exactly what that pulled. But when we see all the agencies across the Alaska, and we understand, we understand, economy, 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 these oligarchs, the fishing company, which is one company up there who's been extracting wealth from the state of Alaska for a long, long time, as everything's funneled up to 1%. Every agency along the coast, Alaska and Oregon, I haven't seen any Washington participating yet, but they'll get on board as regurgitating this as fact. The FDA says that their studies show that it's safe, and they have no studies. All the FDA has done is raise limits over and over and over and over. Now you think about this. The FDA, really, by now, anyone's going to listen to them, but it's these agencies, and people are taking this in like it's fact. One of my really, the person I know in our community, all set wrestler, younger than me, incredible athlete, coach. My friend came over last night, and he said, you know, Jody died in Alaska today. What? What? Perfect physical condition. I said, what happened? I don't know. They said he just dropped dead. But I don't know. You know, we, we hear all the stories about the heart attacks and the strokes and, the, you know, the brain tumors eruption. We know that nuclear fallout causes all these things. I mean, people can go into denial all they want. They can go into denial all they want. But that's just the way it is. You know, there's, these things are nasty, dangerous, horrific byproducts that come out of these reactors. Nuclear fall is wicked, nasty stuff. PU, 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 that's plutonium, plutonium 239, 240, 241. I mean, these things are evil, the heavy metals, the heavy metals, the hardcore killer into the bone marrow of leukemia. But we know, yeah, everybody wants to talk about season 137, 134. Nasty, nasty killers. Chernobyl heart. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very real. You know, all these evil things. Strong in 90. We know that attack us. Any doctor who knows anything is going to tell you it attacks the heart muscle immediately. It goes right after the heart muscle. It's so outrageous. These people, you, like I said, you can't do the radio anywhere. Anywhere in the United States. Is the United States overcrowded? Well, according to John Holdren, I guess it is the urban setting in the city is it's just the way people live. 
Look, the United States makes up less than 3% of the world population, yet we consume 65% of the GDP of the world that's produced. Oh, it's always been. No, it's not always been that way. This is the last popism gone amok the last 30 years. The last 30 years, this consume, obey, consumption economy has went psycho. It has went insane. I mean, you can draw right to 1979. I, I love how everybody goes in and out about it. And you got this Operation Foxconn. By the way, Fox Forbes, Operation Foxconn, and the neocon teabagger lunatics that support these. The Anne An Rand was a hardcore atheist, they record. I mean, these are the people that are regurgitating this hyperbole. It's the Taliban. Fox News is the Taliban. The evangelicals are the Taliban. They claim that they're Christians. They're the opposite of Christian. The Mormons claim that they're the opposite of Christian. Fox News claimed that Hitler claimed he was a good Christian. They're watching right down the same path. Destroy any art. Destroy anything. Creativity. Free market. I love all you people that are freaking bitching about the debt and going off war, 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 war. We're going to the 100th anniversary of World War One. Yeah, the same thing. Yeah. 1% has sucked up the power. But then you have a conversation with them about protections, and then they fuck. The very people that are bitches are the people that are creating it. New world order? No. Old world order. Don't you like these people that call that? And it's... it's a simple answer, a tariff at the port. Yet you mentioned that the same people that they... I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. And I've got it nailed down to a fine science. These are unloved children. These are overcompensation. But you got a 56-year-old woman with fake breasts, Botox, trying to get young boyfriends, walking around, touching... It, they are unloved. They're trying to freaking capture something that they cannot capture. They're searching. They're searching for something they will never find. Because they don't have it. So what they've done, they've internalized their strife. The strife in America has been internalized. It's still lashing back at the people that do it. And then they always go to God. which And then they, they, tw they trick themselves into the God thesis, which really is the devil thesis. George Bush did it himself. Gave up the cocaine. He used to be all fucked up on the dope. Now I'm all fucked up on the Lord. They are not. The Mormons do it. The evangelicals have done it. They've jumped on it. They're the devil. They, what do you think all the hairspray is about? They're devils. They, they stand everything in the opposite. Fox News is everything that is opposite of Christianity or anything good. Yeah, and I use Christianity not because I'm some staunch, but no, 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 because of the They're hypocrites. I mean, the grotesque hypocrite nature of these lunatics, wackos. So what have they done? They got no game. They got no cerebral cortex. They got no art. They got no creativity. They got nothing. They got nada. They got zero. They're overcompensating. So what they've done with all the pain, the average work week, nominal wages have declined every single year since 1979, 1980. Every year. Now you think about that. It's turned this into lottery America. It's turned into commoner America. It's turned into third world America. Oh, I got a house. I got lucky. I bought a house. So that's where your wealth is now. Sell the house. You got to buy another house. It's false. It's a false soul. They know they're overworked, they're stressed out, they're overcompensating, so they've internalized their strife and grief. They've internalized, see the last thing out the people that did this to them, Fox News, the Queen's Army, these people, I mean, the Bundy Ranch, these just pose it perfectly, perfectly. What have they done? They've internalized so they start self-mutilation. I mean, you see women walking around. You don't see it in Canada. You see these obese, grotesque females. I mean, really. I mean, there was one of the, maybe 500 of those type of women. Maybe one of the thousand were grew up. They're everywhere. And there are men, just grotesque slobs with tattoos on their cellulite, on their fat. And then they expose it like they want everybody to see. Look at me. It's beyond grotesque. Gluttony is a sin. It is a sick, it's grotesque. So they've internalized their strife. And everybody says, oh, well, it's the food chain, it's the chemtrails. And I says, well, it didn't work on me. I know plenty of people didn't work. It's fucking laziness. They're fucking lazy, ignorant. Just, and Jesse Ventura and people like that prey on their ignorance because they were lazy in school, they were lazy in their life, they are lazy in their trade. Oh, I don't want to learn a skill. I'm not going to be a pilot. I'm not going to walk my way up through it. I'm just going to get hairspray on, fucking say I'm a contractor, and go exploit illegal labor. <laughs> they know they're being exploited. You got them building your house now. You got shit. So they've internalized their strife. Self-mutilation with the 
obesity, with food. They addict to food and get fat. And they put these grotesque tattoos all over them. I mean, ugly, hideous things. Then they the body piercing. Then the freaking pills. Average prescription use in Utah, 5-6. It is self-mutilation. It's called degenerate behavior. Hello. America is a degenerate, degenerate nation. I'm out of freaking denial. I face it. I love it. The 4th of July, these, these up in Cash Valley, well, this is part of the Taliban up there. That's one of the hardcore Taliban freaking strongholds. 99.9999% white, middle class, call themselves Christians, tear down anything that has any art to it. They blew up art for the giant Buddhas here. These, this guy is saying, well, he's all wrapped up in the flag the 4th of July, and he's playing Born in the USA. You ever listen to the lyrics to Born in the USA? It's one of the most anti-American songs ever written. It's a magnificent piece. If these fucking donkeys will fucking play it. It's like when my girls were young. My beautiful, beautiful daughters. All the girls dance here. You know, they were all cheering. My daughters were on the drill team, you know. And we go up there and this girl, and we're, you know, they're at halftime at the college basketball game here at Weber State. And they're dancing to My Sharona. 15, 16, 17 year old girls, and they're playing My Sharona. So I go up to the fucking teacher. Do you know what that fucking song's about? Have you ever listened to what? No, I mean, he wrote that song about his dick. That's what he called his dick. These people are, I mean, playing his dick. Listen to the fucking lyrics. Playing his fucking day. These people are fucking insane. They, hardcore degenerate nation. They lash out because they hate. They hate themselves. It's the self-mutilation. It's still the exterior like Americans used to do. Organize and go out to the people, the black and yellow media whores that are attacking us, the FDA. I mean, you think about the FDA just raising limits. Right? This is a full-blown-out war been declared on us and our children. I'm in the fucking war all the way up to my eyeballs. And everybody participates. Now, the sad part about it is New York and San Francisco are participating also for the opposite reasons. Because we thrashed the dollar. From 2003 to 2006, the Walmart Clinton, fucking George W. Warmonger, fucking Prescott Hitler Bush, fucking thrashed it all when they stole. I mean, the military coup of 2000 is very, very real. The military coup of 2000 is very real. They did not win. There's no government. I mean, you, okay, we have three, we're talking three branches of government, which people don't even know what those are. We have executive, we have judicial, and we have legislative. And it's been said over and over and over and over, as far as the Supreme Court's illegitimate for a long time, got legitimate. We think about the court. We have five dug in hardcore neocon lunatics on the court. Two of them shouldn't even be there. Alito and Roberts, you think when Roberts read that, that was a Freudian slip? He did it on purpose. He's insane. These are sick, sick, mentally ill, Glenn Beck disturbed, freaking cocaine freak, alcoholic, freaking all fucked up on the Lord neocon nuts. They're Hitler. Alito Roberts would be, they would be SS. Their philosophy, I'm serious, going back, it's, it's, it's fascism philosophy. Hardcore fascism philosophy based on race, anti-art, anti-creativity, anti-labor unions, anything but them. That's who they, these people are. But those two guys shouldn't even be on. And Myers' attention says it beautifully. This court's illegitimate. This is a Supreme Court justice who says this. This isn't Kevin Blatches or a freaking rattling. This is Byers. He says this court's illegitimate. You have two hardcore. It's a political apparatus. You don't have any. The Patriot Act ended the law. We are a republic with a constitution. We're not a democracy. We're a republic without the constitution. Jefferson said we would be nothing. Nothing but exactly what we fought the Revolutionary War against. First thing we did is tear up the poor. The same people that are bitching, the Michael Savages, the far right, the fucking Fox News comp, the same people that bitch about it out matter, wrap themselves up in the flag, and they're the fucking bitching about the fucking death, they're bitching about everything. All their answers is war, 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 war. The same people are the same people that created this. They know what they're doing, Operation Foxconn. They play on the ignorant. I call it rare meat here. The Dummy down education system here, and Utah spends the less per capita per child than any place, maybe on earth. They've been docked because so you're left with nothing. You know, so they educated dynamic to get the hell out of here. They go to San Francisco, they go to New York City, but what's happening in San Francisco and New York City? 
oh, the real estate markets have went psycho. They're, they're, you know, they're all serving coffee. Cultural theme parks for Europeans, 53 million tourists in New York City last year alone. 50, go there. Go at Sesame Street. The wheat dollar is only benefiting a couple of places in the United States. The dollar was thrashed. Not going to be had. Not under Obama. Not under under Alan freaking Ann Ryan Greenspan, the biggest terrorist who ever walked. Flashed it. 2001, 2, 3, that's when this thing happened. I was in New York City, in Manhattan, sitting at the presentation. The president of the, you know, I was sitting on the front row in the Q&A. We hope someday to have the euro trading equivalent to the dollar. It opened to 75 cents. Who knew? Just a few short years and a fucking a warmonger, fucking a hijacked fucking presidency, a hijacked Supreme Court. It's doubled. Goes from 65 cents to one. You can't avoid that. That is the greatest wipeout of wealth in the history of America. Bond. America. Over. Done. The 9 11 scam that they pulled. Oh, blood. <laughs> Don't you love them, blood? Just the Saudi Arabia elitist family. 16 of the night. You think those studies are being repressed? by the United States military machine to fucking steal their oil. That's what all this is about. That's all this is. Now it's plutonium wars. we got plutonium wars going in Ukraine. Oh, going there. <laughs> you fools. When a freaking tariff would solve it all, all of it, except for one thing. Oh, Fukushima. The great equalizer. The oligarchs eat their own. Oh, Jamie Dimon's got cancer. It's, oh, it's nothing. It's just in his lymph node. <laughs> we all know. Oh, do I know. I can't turn my lip noise. At ML De Nouveau. And on Hodgson's lip at the exact same fucking time. In my lower lip noise. How I, the survival rate of the type of disease I have is nearly zero. Except for line in my jugular. Oh, it's nothing. Yeah, just like they told us when Steve Jobs got sick. Apple kept playing it. Oh, it's nothing. It's nothing when he had multiple transplants. One of my doctors, one of Steve Jobs' doctors. He really did think his mind. He did everything right, by the way. He was very vegan. He did everything right. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I call it the reverse lottery. It's the great equalizer. It's Chernobyl. It's Chernobyl. This is all Tony Gwynn was a cure. Yeah. They had a stop in recession. It came back in 2011. Everybody got cancer in 2011, including me. All these people. And it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. We know the rates have gone crazy. Our unit's overflowing. Our doctors will talk. They'll say, oh, yeah. There's a reason he's the best oncologist in the world set up shop in Utah. Oh, 350 open-air tests in Nevada. That's in the past. No, it's not in the fucking past. The Tony South Black is how long? How long? 24,500 years. That's on Moxie. I met this girl. Really incredible, beautiful girl. Here about a year ago. Me and her were hanging around together. You know, doing what we do for a while. She tells me, well, my brother says i got to leave you. Why? It's contaminated. Yeah, you're right about that. Energy Solutions dump site, the military burn facility. I mean, it is. It's lit up like a Christmas tree. But I said, where are you going to go? Every place is lit up. Well, we live in Tennessee. Really? He lived in Tennessee, and he's saying Utah's contaminated? Call this fucking moron up. So they called him up, and this typical fucking echo boomer. The only one fucking demographic is dumber than the baby boomer. That's the echo boomer. These are some dumb, ignorant fuckers. False for a lot of big, fat tattoos all over him, fucking walking around with their fucking... He likes to shoot his gun. He likes to sing along, but he don't know what it means. Don't know what it means. Fools. Fools, they're willing to lay down their life. And so I talked to him. Oh, yeah, you're so contaminated. I says, do you even know what Oak Ridge is? Uh, the, uh, uh, do you know they're burning nuclear waste at Oak Ridge? And they're admitting it? The biggest fucking filthiest disgusting place in the world is Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Oh, none. Not to mention Paducah, Kentucky. Oh, Paducah got hit by a tornado. And plutonium wars. I reported it in detail. I reported all this in fucking after detail. Don't want to listen? I don't really give a fuck. Who fucking listens? Because the truth is the truth. I'm not here. This isn't a popularity contest. I could give a fuck about that. I'm here to get the fucking truth out to fight this war. Forbes, Sanchez Gupta, Fox News. 
the Mormon Church, the evangelicals, had declared fucking war. They're devils. They declared war on you and your children a long time ago. Operation Foxconn. The leaner, smaller military. Bill Walmart Clinton. Get rid of tariffs. That's what they wanted to do from before. I mean, the new East India Company, Walmart. Come on, fuckers, wake up and realize it. What was, how did we, wh why did we fight for that? There was Anglo white Anglo Saxons living in America for 150 fucking years. Why the war then? Ah, uh, but fucking the East India Company dumping cheap goods on fucking America. They want to know part of it. The tariff act. Before the Bill of Rights, hell, well, look it up, look it up, to incentivize the buying of homemade goods, but bigger than that. Our debt was just as big in, in right after the Civil War and the Revolutionary War. There were little old ladies holding paper all over. America was broke. How did we pay for it? For the tariff for the poor. Alexander Hamilton. Oh, do you don't think he did? He fucking ran the books for the slave traders at 10, 12 years old in the Caribbean. The genius he was. Jefferson, yeah. Jefferson wasn't a free market fairy tale. Oh, no, he's a pragmatic, dynamic man. Him and fucking Hamilton fucking hammered things out. Culture conversations are dangerous. Passion, intelligent arguments get the results. That's one of mine. Black and yellow journalism, that's one of mine. Science fiction economics, that's one of mine. All these are mine. They're mine. These people were pragmatic. Pragmatic. They got it done. Not like this fucking radical fucking Congress we have now. I mean, let's throw another abortion beer. It's like, I love what's her name. These radical came to my site, carrying on. She says, you know what? Go blow up a fucking abortion claim. This is for the big kids. I am so tired of this fucking low IQ, low intelligent hyperbole, just like the Bundy. Oh, we have all the in the state like fucking morons. Pathetic fucking morons. This country was founded on tariffs. Protectionists fighting back against the East India Company. Who do you think those guys were that dressed up like Indians in Boston? Threw the tea over. By the way, the baby wolf, little cat, almost got arrested in Long Island. Welcome to Long Island. And don't you love these cops that harass these people that are trying to protect them? These fucking cops, the fucking, they die of cancer too. I tell them all the time, what are you fucking harassing me for? I'm fucking on your side. What are you supporting the fucking people that are trying to kill you? Don't you get it? You're on the wrong team, fucker. I got a lot of them convinced here. They're like, God, Kev, you're right. My sister just died of leukemia. This report coming out of the last, the FDA, the FDA are hard. These are crimes against humanity. Hard, hardcore crimes against humanity. But we don't have a political apparatus in this country. That was taken in 2000. The military runs this show. This is a military police state. And anybody who doesn't think that has got their head so far up their fucking ass. We have a totally 100% illegitimate Supreme Court. Two Supreme Court justices were put there by a president who did not win. How are, why did Gore lay down? Because the military told him to fucking lay down. Stand down, fucker. Oh, yeah, okay. We'll put, give you a bo corporate board fucking on uh, Apple and Google without any money. You seen his house? You don't want to talk about a fraud that guy was. You think about this. Yeah, he's the bloodline to Burr. Fucking that creepy piece of shit. Now let's talk about this from the inception of the country. Alexander Hamilton would have been the president. George Washington called him his son. Considered a factor. George Washington let him run the whole show. He was so genius and brilliant. He knew the only thing. It's old economic theory from Chief Milton Friedman. There's a terrorist, hardcore terrorist. Alan Greenspan, the dumbest, fake fraud, ugly fucker that ever walked the face. The biggest terrorist that ever hit fucking any place on earth is Alan Greenspan. He used to walk around Manhattan and tug on freaking Anne Rand's skirt. Anne Rand was a science fiction writer who never claimed to be an economist, born and raised in Leningrad, fucking Russia. Hardcore dug in atheist. Don't you love, they, they quote the far radical right is, oh, we're Christian, we're Christian, we're Christian. Paul Ryan, let's defer to the Ryan plan. Let's hear all he does is quote Anne Rand, a hardcore atheist. Rand Paul, free market fairy tale lunatics when this country was fucking born and bred and always was on protectionism policies. You cannot compete with fucking six, not six, excuse me, three billion fucking workforce. The average wage on this earth is 37 cents an hour. Apple, it comes out. Apple, you know, I've been on this Apple thing the whole fucking time. It is the story of America over the last fucking 15 years. Oh, Steve Cheney Jobs died of fucking cancer. All your money can't. Oh, the most hated man in the world, Jamie Dimon, has cancer in his lymphoid. 
Is he going to die? <laughs> I don't know. I hope not. I wouldn't wish it on my fucking worst enemy. Somebody says, fuck, we don't want to die. Go to jail. He ain't going to jail. These are royalty in the far right radical Fox News who support the world. And the people that have their guns down there are fucking funny. That's who supports these people. They don't have to go find Germ Zero Ray. They don't have to go find Saran Saran. They don't have to find any of them. You'll do it for them. You will do it for them with your dogma. Ignorant, big fat slobs with tattoos on them, and they fucking make sure they wear something. You can see the tattoo. Shorts in the winter where you can see. It's internalizing the strife. It's the easy thing to do. Self, it's degenerate behavior. It's the easiest thing to do. Beat up yourself. Internalize it. You didn't even do this. You will do it to yourself, and then you'll use it like a weapon, and you'll point it out at others. The self-confident, the happy, the fucking so-called beautiful people, the whole country was that, because they only worked 40 hours a week, they had really good jobs, they weren't that Rex, because we have protectionism policies in this country. How do you think we paid off the fucking Revolutionary War? Collecting it. If we threw a 25% fucking tariff and duty on the port, now think about this too, the, oh God, we got the energy complex, there's a fucking lunatic around here. This lunatic that I know, from the university, was in the class. That's how insane this guy is. I think he's of Indian descent. This fucker just kept watching going down. I've watched him just go down and go down. He's homeless. He had an argument with me yesterday, telling me how great Jamie Dimon was. He, he, sits and he watches YouTube videos about fucking CEOs all the time. And we're worshiping him. This fucking guy's homeless. I saw a poll the other day that 85% of people on Social Security in the United States believe someday they'll be fucking nurse. That's the same thing they used to do in the old feudal system. Oh, come on, Cinderella, you can fucking marry a prince. Where do you think all those fairy tales came from? Cooked up. Oh, you can be a royal. No, you can't be a royal because they only fucking breed with each other. If you don't believe me, think about Princess Day. Oh, they, he, they had a beautiful one. That ugly fucking Charles, ugly. Oh, my God, are they ugly. This Kate Middleton. Oh, my God, is she hideous. Everybody says, who, who, or stir blood of hair. Oh, God, gross. That bitch is ugly, hideous. Again, I'll quote Franklin Roosevelt to Winston Churchill. I got to tell you, Winston, I went to freaking England when I was a boy. I saw Queen Victoria. I got to tell you, I hated the old witch. There's nothing more American, Central American, to hate the royal system. Now we worship it. So he couldn't handle sleeping with a beautiful girl and having that. He had to go have sex with his ugly, ugly inbred cousin because that's what these creepy fucking pieces of shit do. 100 years ago right now, we took them out. How did they, they took them out with a bullet. People think, oh, you know, people just think they're educated. Well, arguing about, well, oh, we have enough rough. Bullshit. Bullshit. What do you think the 1930s were? Think about it. When the shirt waist fire, the shirt, I love all you New York fucks, you New York phony fuckers. I'm the shirt waist fuck, the art community, you're a fucking fraud. Patty Smythe, oh, they're fucking fraud. New York City's a fraud. New York City is a fraud. The art movement in New York City has been dead since fucking Warhol. It's a fraud. It is a fraud. That one piece of art is a joke. Anybody who's bought a piece of art in New York City in the last 30 years, talk about a fucking return. Might as well fucking throw it away. They're worthless. The art community is worthless, a fucking fraud. Shirtwaist fire, I never seen any of them there. Never. It was legal to lock people in when those girls jumped to their death. But what was going on in Pittsburgh and the whole Rust Belt? What was going on all over? Child slaves. Look them up. Look it up. Irish, German, Italian immigrant children. That was a labor phase. Being abused hardcore. So what happened? What happened? Those kids grew up. That's why you don't abuse children, because they grow up to be men and women. So when the freaking things collapsed in 1929, Hoover, which was Bush, on Balco, so this goes on. So what happened in the 1930s? I'll tell you what happened. Those kids were abused in the steel mills of Pittsburgh and freaking all over. We used to have a pretty good shot to get as far as our fathers got, but something happened on the way to that place. They threw an American flag in my face, Allentown, which is Bethlehem. Oh, that'd be Billy Joel. 
those kids grew up, and when it happened, they did it with blood. You might see all were executed in the 1930s, lined up against the wall and had their heads blown off. 1940, you know, that's the big talking point now in the Neil fucking Foxconn fucking right right now. Oh, the anniversary of 114, fucking World War I. We've been fighting World War Three for a long time. It's called nuclearism. They're killing you and your kids, and it's fascinating. It's the neocon, it's the Anran, so it's hardcore fascist right. It's fascism. They support this. They support the NSA. It's just like here in Utah, Mike Lee and all these frauds. Well, where's the new SA building here? Right here. Right here. They say one thing, they mean the other. They go home, they wear their fucking dishonesty and their lies and their disloyalty and their fucking hate like a badge of fucking honor. It's ignorance. And we don't fight back because the fucking left, what a fucking joke. The left got fucking, the Democratic Party got hijacked when Bobby Kennedy was killed. They turned to liberals. They were never liberals, they were progressives. So you got the fucking liberals on one side, you got the f fucking mental ill fucking neocons on the other side. That's the political apparatus. But nothing. So, status quo. So this ugly, you know, for the 4th of July, what are you going to do, wave your flag? Maybe we can go fucking drone some more babies. America, fuck, please. This ain't America. This is a fascist fucking hardcore police state. 9-11. Don't you love that? Oh, let's blame it on bin Laden. Muhammad Otto left fucking notes. 16 of the 19 were Saudis. How's that? Saudi Arabia's name Saudi Arabia. Why? Oh, the Saudi royal family took it over. Oh, they're protected by a United States military base so the United States can extract their natural resources. That's all any war is. Oh, we wanted Afghanistan to build a pipeline across the Caspian Sea. Send the fucking Iraq to get a sack, Dick Cheney. Who owned all the oil interests? Not Saddam Hussein. Yeah, but he made him give all the Russian firm. So it was a fucking fight between British Petroleum. Nothing, not American. None of these companies are American. These are the Americans who do all the work. They put the bill for the military complex. Why the Queen and the fucking House wanted to just sit back and these stupid fucking Americans. <laughs> well, we colonialized them, dumb fuckers, fucking a long time ago. You know? McKinley. Go quit back to McKinley. I am the tariff president. Boom, an anarchist killed him? Oh, we know for a fact now. The anarchist was funded directly by Queen Victoria, right directly out of the house. Went Bill Walmart Clinton, Rhodes Scholar, where? What's a Rhodes Scholar? Oh, another pedophile. Don't you love these fuckers in England? BP, Lord Brown. This is a great story. In the early 90s, I'm on Wall Street. I'm a semi-conductor analyst. An arbitrage derivative specialist. Very successful, very good at what I did. My friend's an oil analyst. He says, hey, man. CLBP is the CEO of BP. Here's two of these, two of these big fat slobs with tattoos all over them, things sitting freaking yelling at each other across the parking lot. It's disgusting. Wow. Hair dyed dark red, tattoos all over them, 150 pounds of beast with tattoos showing. Think about the men who sleep with women like that. You know, it's like these fucking young guys that sleep with these older fucking... If I had a son, he's 20 and in the 20s, he says, hey, I got me a fucking girlfriend or wife, she's 40-something, 50-something. I would fucking knock that kid on his fucking ass so fucking... He wouldn't know what hit him. What does that matter with you fucking people? What is the fucking matter with you? You know, I used to live abstract. You say, fuck all these contemporary morons. Who needs them? Fuck them. I could live abstractly, and I did for years. I'm standing on the... Fuck, so I get invited to the oil analysts. We can't live abstractly now. Fukushima, Fukushima, Fukushima. Hello? Fuck. Three years of flying. Oh, it's nothing. It's nothing. Here's what else you hear all day, every day here. That's all you hear. It's a police state. Hardcore police state. Where'd that guy freaking drop a cigarette butt in public? Oh, they'll taser him. They shoot people here and then ask questions. This is a police state. Look around at your local fucking police. I love all you fuckers in Boston. Oh, we're going to get our blood on these. They're going to come take our shit. So I'm going to crack myself with my gun. Just like you did in Boston. You crawled under your fucking table. Just like that punk Ted Nugent. Oh, <laughs> Obama gets free of work. They're either going to fucking... I'll be in jail or fucking dead. I'll take the second. Fuck him. Where was he? Under his fucking table. Where was all of that in Boston when they declared... Do ah, you think that's a coincidence they declared martial law on the same day that Revere rode through Boston? 
Where were you then? You're the same place you are, cowarding down. Just like a fucking bunny cloud. These, they fight out these two fucking punks, and they go fucking randomly kill two cops. They don't even know. That's cowards. That is fucking cowards. You fight with your fucking brain. America, the land of the fucking cowards. They fucking sold you a bill of goods so fucking hardcore. Oh, go get a gun. Go buy bullets. This lunatic out here that gun ranges have shot up. That's all people do is shoot their gun. They're all cowards, low IQ, because anybody with a fucking brain left the fuck here. They're not going to live in the Utah Taliban. I stay here because of the geography. Look at it. It's so smack because I'm connected with the landscape, with the earth. I'm like the natives were. I like to live the way they live. Communal, connected with the earth, abstractly. I can't do that. So I'm standing on the fucking floor. I get invited to the oil analysts. My boss, we're all sitting there. They know how I roll. They fucking know how I go. I used to be even worse. I was very successful, highly respected on Wall Street. He came to me in the Q&A, called himself Lord Brown. I raised my hand. My boss was like, oh, no, here we go. Hey, Bill or Bob or Fred or Joe, whatever the fuck your name is, where do you get off coming to the United States calling yourself Lord? You fucking hammer the fucking Gulf of Alaska. You fucking extract fucking all our natural resources. Pay back in our world. You pollute. And we fought a revolution. We kicked you fucking sir motherfuckers the fuck out of here. We are the United States. We don't worship fucking us. Fuck you. Call yourself your real name. We're not calling you fucking sir here. Lord? We're going to call you Lord? Really? Who the fuck do you think you are standing in the United States, in New York City, in Hamiltonville, calling yourself Lord? Fuck you. I told him just like that. I got escorted out. I thought I'd get fired. Went to work the next morning. I used to go to work 4.30 in the fucking morning. You know, half the time I hadn't even been to fucking bed. You know, you want to talk groupies? Fuck. Wall Street, those fucking whores that are married to all the Wall Street apparatus. <laughs> you think they love those guys? Trophy fucking wife, they're fucking plain ass fucking whores. That's all any of them are. All these guys, Jamie Lyon, Diamond's wife, all of them are blank, they're fucking whores. They're fucking there for money. You think they fuck? They all got boyfriends all over you. I'm fucking they. They have nothing to do with their husbands. That's the way it works. Fuck. Yeah, they love them. All right. They fucking. I, I, I was there. Fuck. Standing ovation on the fucking floor. My boss had me over with a bunch of hundred dollar bills in it. Says, here's your bonus. Thank you. I fucking love you for doing that. Why did he have to step down from BP? Cut up. Why? He was a pedophile. He was raping young boys. That's right. That's who these monsters are. Oh, they killed fucking Lady Di. He fucking right they killed her. They can't have because... We, they were all taken out 100 years ago with the bullet. Lined up the czars. I, I like this crazy bitch who claimed she was anesthesia in fucking... How about that crazy bitch? Lived in Virginia for fucking 40 years. Claimed she snuck out. Floated fucking up the river. Fucking was found in Paris. Lived in, and she fucking pulled it off for years. People fucking used to fucking send her. I mean, she lived high. So finally DNA comes around. They dig her, the bitch was lying the whole fucking time. They didn't let any of them survive. In Austria, in fuck, they were all cousins, all cousins. Oh, one fucking left standing. Because of us, you know, because we speak English. They, Winston Churchill to fucking Franklin Roosevelt. This is why I had a Franklin Jr.'s freaking book. Read it. Sitting around after everything. You know, Winston, I'm going to take apart everything the world is just like out. And by the way, Franklin Roosevelt was a big, big student of Alexander Hamilton's giant. So was Abraham Lincoln. So was John Kennedy. So was McKinley. All of them would be killed. Ronald Reagan, the Bush crime family, all students of the Queen. The biggest student of the Queen ever, Bill Walmart Clinton. You think about it. He ran. He ran as the next John Kennedy. John Kennedy was spit in his fucking face. John Kennedy was a hardcore environmentalist. Anti-nuke, hardcore. July 26, 1963. The open-air test ban, which I love what his name says. How do you call it the open-air test ban? It was the open-air mass murder, which killed my father. 
their own troops, human guinea pig in the fucking Nevada trenches. That's what this fucking country is. Fuck it, wrap 4th of July, wrap Fourth of July wasn't even a holiday till 1941. You do understand that. Star Spangled Banner, all that. That's all fucking new modernized shit. It's just like Easter presents for children. These are all Madison Avenue shoved down your throat. Fucking Easter Bunny, fucking Halloween, Mother's Day. That's my big one. Father's Day. Those things didn't even exist. Fourth of July was not even a fucking holiday until the 1940s. It's propaganda. Audie Murphy in fucking World War II, the most decorated man in probably in American history. Pin of medals on him. He said, what the fuck are you doing? I don't want these fucking medals. I wasn't fight for no fucking flag. I was fighting for my mom and dad's farm. These people wanted to live free. I like it. Oh, we're free. We're teabaggers. We're going to go down and support a pedophile, a baby-raping fucking government mooch. Just like Mike Lee. $600,000. Fucking short sold this house. You, the taxpayer, paid it. Yeah, he's going to cut food stamps. So usury. Buy here. Nice guy loaned, you hear advertisement. 640% interest rate. That's usury. By definition, that is the pillar and cornerstone of Christianity. Jesus Christ with the money changers out of the temple. You, you can't have a conversation with these lunatics about fucking protection. And if you can't have a conversation with these lunatics about fucking usury laws, oh, we're free markers. That's what a feudal system. That's what we fought against with that so-called. Because in a free marketplace, the bigger, the bigger, the bigger. We have antitrust laws. We have an enforcement anti Oh, we did. Uh, Bill fucking Gates. There's a terrorist. Bill Gates never invented anything. He stole everything he had from here in Utah. Fucking word perfect. Fucking invented the operating system. Had 99. He stole it all illegally. The trial was just two years ago here after all those years. Hung jury. 12 to 1. Now, how do you have a jury with 13 people? That's what I want to know. These plate guys fucking have captured every agency. Every agency. The FDA. <laughs> That's the most corrupt. The FDA, there's all, the FDA is almost as corrupt as the, the Treasury. The Department of Goldman Sachs. Well, you go to the trade, right next to the White House is the fucking Treasury. The statue of Alexander Hamilton is there. That's me marching right by him. Leading the Million Mass Man March. Millions of people participate. Jan Anthony Fairhurst organized that. I let it. Oh, no media, so it couldn't have happened. Couldn't have happened. Millions participated around the world in that. Millions. I marched across there the Department of Agriculture, Department of Monsanto. I went to the Department of Energy the very day, and I went inside there. Went inside there. That's the day that they retooled the Fukushima cover-up. I'm standing in front of the White House when TEPCO's going in. I'm standing right there. That's me there. Nobody sees it. They don't know. They don't understand. They don't care. It's so over the top. It's so outrageous. You can't have a conversation. You've been had. Operation Foxconn. Oh, Utah. The Devil Complex. The Utah Taliban. That's what it is. These people are feigning ghosts. They walk around. You talk to them about Fukushima. We're well, the cancer capital of the world. When I grew up here, Paul Gallagher came here from New York City. Paul Stegner came here from Calgary, Alberta. Edward Abbey from Pennsylvania, the greatest writers, the greatest environmentalists in the world. Why did they all come to Utah? Why? Because we were being killed. The anti-nuclear freaking fight, the most beautiful landscape on earth, we fucking poison it. We're fighting it tooth and nail. Bring it up now. Have a conversation. Academia is totally captured. One hundred. It used to be like this, a professor. A professor would write his PhD. There was no peer review. Professors set the agenda. Professors were universities. The, nobody, fuck, they answered to no one. No one. Now to become a professor, you have to get what you call peer review. Of course, they're not going to give you anything, your PhD. So it is now, it's been captured. Corporate funding, Nike, University of Oregon, which is supposedly the environmental attorney school. They graduate so many environment, but they all work for the cartel. The nuclear, if you don't believe me, I want you to look up the fucking federal budget on the energy complex for 2015. See how much Livermore. There's a reason I went to Livermore, the head of the snake, on day 1000. Tim Schill. Steinbeck's place. Look up at the funding. They have a fucking environmental sound there. Or not environmental, excuse me. The often environmental. It's a mass murder. He changed his name. He called himself something hurricane. Really? Look it up. These people are sick. 
they're sociopaths. Fox News, and they're, they're sociopaths. Paid propaganda whores for the fucking 1% elites. Well, who supports the 1% elites? Fox News. The GOP, far fucking radical right. And the fucking far left just goes along with it. They're like, oh boy, you made us rich. I'm out. Oh, look at me. I fucking build a house, 8,000 square feet. I'm in environmentals. Well, my house sucks up $8,000 worth of energy a fucking month. I tried to rape two different freaking massage therapists, and I, one of them, the prosecutor in San Francisco, he's going to jail. All of a sudden, it goes away because we have a fucking corrupt, futile system. With money, you can do anything you want. Murder? Mass murder. We left one standing. We left one standing in England. They played long ball. They're, they unwound everything in America was with the help of Prescott, Adolf Hitler, H. Bush. George W. Ignorant fucking Prescott fucking Adolf Hitler Bush. Bill Walmart Clinton. Barry Antoinette. Let them eat yellow cake. Where did they find this guy? Don't you love it? They fool the African-American community. They fool them and trick them that this guy is somehow black. I'm more black than that guy is. And I have to live. I'm a middle-aged freaking middle class in Utah. There's nothing one not older black about this guy. Look, he didn't grow up in the African plight. He was raised Kansas. Kansas? By an upper-middle-class bank examiner fucking Neoconservative Republican Party in Hawaii. That's black. <laughs> oh, they fooled about it. They fooled it. Where is the black? Can I mean, you know, Cornell West is right. I love Cornell, by the way. I love Cornell. You can say whatever you want about Cornell. Cornell's called this from the fucking beginning. Cornell is right. I'm, I'll vote for Cornell right fucking now. I'd love to have a conversation. Because I'll tell you what, in the African American, this could be done really easily. Who really is, maybe could have been the greatest anti nuclear activist in American history. He's right there in the top group of them. Right there next to Rachel Carson. Martin Luther King. Oh, yeah. Oh, his protege. His city, his partner in protest. is sitting in a prison in Brooklyn, Megan Ives. Fucking New York, what a fraud. What a fraud that way. It's a cultural theme park. Sesame Street, yay! What a fucking insult to Sesame Street. It's fucking grotesque. There's nothing black about this guy. Nothing. What has he done for the afternoon? You, you tell me. Tell me. Cornwall says it. He is. And he said this right after. And it's gotten worse. He is nothing more than a charismatic version of American exceptionalism. On Balco. It's true. Now his wife, I would love to. But you can see they've gotten to him. Sit down and shut the fuck up. He wants the fuck out of there. He knows it's a military state. He knows the far radical right, the Mike Lee. I mean, think about these closed caucuses, not even open primaries. A guy who's running on a fiscal responsible platform, wise houses in foreclosure. Illegal campaign contributions from our usury complex. Commit a felony after felony after felony. Two sitting attorney generals. On today, taking bribes of $200,000 from buy here, pay here loans. I know Jeremy Johnson, who's sitting president. I know him personally. He's squealing. He's telling, under fucking oath, under indictment, pass lie detector test, saying it, these guys have been found guilty. The city attorney general found guilty in seven counts of obstruction of justice, but the federal prosecutors won't prosecute him because we have an attorney general who's totally ballless. Barack Obama and not John Hole and the eugenics you at Berkeley, that's an Our attorney general is the biggest pussy African American now who ever walked. They're, they're Uncle Tom's. They are Uncle Tom, literally. Barack Obama is Uncle Tom on Balco, literally. Read the book. Read the book, Harry. Oh, yeah, I know you fuckers read a fucking book. No, you get a 10-second fucking soundbite from fucking Alex Jones is going to tell you. Yeah, go buy some more silver at 47 from Knox Kaiser. Go buy some more gold at fucking 19. Well, Kevin Blanche told you to get out of gold at 19. The day it was at 1900. Told you to buy Tesla. At fifteen dollars. Oh, what's that for the day? Two hundred forty. Huh? Huh? Told you to buy the Apple derivative. When I won't buy the stock. Fuck them. The fucking slaves and their fucking nets. Oh, a poll comes out. Americans believe Apple to be one of the best fucking American brands. Top ten American brands. 
They park all their fucking cash off shit. They fucking, none of their fucking execs will fucking live here or work here. They use slaves. In China, I thought we fought Korean War. And I thought we fought the fucking World War, uh, excuse me, Vietnam. To push back from China, taking over Vietnam to be a communist. They're just going to fall like dominoes, McNamara. And look at that. I said it for years. I said it for years. That McNamara, I kept waiting for you to go, zip, excuse me, uh, Rumsfeld. He goes, zip, and McNamara step out. McNamara, the war complex, what was he before he was the war complex? Secretary of fucking defense. Ah, uh, Hitler's baby. Yeah, he was the CEO of Ford. Yep, look it up. Look it up. All these fucking wars are nothing more fucking... And so how do you fight him back? You fight him back with tariffs. I, I'm sitting here, right here talking, and this a typical female, she's about 60, trying to look around, big fake breasts, watch her with their fucking dogs, what over here, and these people right where I'm sitting, got the dog fucking barking, yapping, and she's all over a fucking... Uh, they're grotesque. They're sickening. I mean, you, you notice now these women are getting older. It's not going to be 60 with these fake breasts walking around. Oh, my God, is it hideous? How hideous is it? They've got both guys' face, fake breasts. Uh, it's so, so grotesque. Oh, here's another one. Oh, my God, it's just tattoos up from head to toe, all beast all over. This one, perfect example. Got what? What is the tribal band around his leg with shorts on? They're 150 people going away. They're slobs. They're pigs. Gluttony's a sin. Gluttony's a sin. America's a degenerate, sick, sick nation. Sick. 18, a guy came up to me this morning and says, Oh, Kevin, I want to show you this. Look at the deathclock.org. What, you getting on that now? Where you been for 20 fucking years? 15, anyway. War complex. That's where all our money goes. You know, I'm in Canada. I'm like, fuck, they're rich. They're filthy, stinking rich in Canada. Oh, uh, they don't funnel all their money to the war complex. They don't have to. They got us next door. The queen's sitting back laughing. <laughs> Look at these stupid fucking Americans. We have a fucking biggest military in the world. We have fucking English colonialized. We just do it in the name of America. Well, it's really us. And these dumb fuckers through Fox News. Oh, where did Rupert Murdoch come from? Oh, the House of Windsor. Oh, he's the mouthpiece for fucking the Queen. He'll admit it. He'll tell you freely. Oh, the British invasion? That ain't the Beatles. Look up the news desk at CBS. Look up the news desk at fucking ABC. Look at them all. They're all British. They all come out of the House of Windsor. This is the royal system. The United States military is the English royal army. It is Queen Victoria's army. For real. It is for real. And so they don't have to spend any of their money. I mean, think about that. Your Canada with these vast, huge natural resources, the Queen's Province. Filthy, stinking rich. Can't cut right here. I work there. The biggest open copper pit mine in the world. This gaping giant hole. Second biggest gold producer on earth. I worked out there in the gold annex run when I was a kid. They stamp it on the wheel. It loads up on the box cars. Guns all over. It goes into fucking... It, and the train rail go directly to Canada. Directly to England. They extract all our natural resources. They don't pay one single royalty. But I love all these guys. Oh, the energy complex. The energy complex. You know, BP, BP. Still on public beaches. You need to think about this. In the Gulf. They still go up. Oh, it's jobs. Deep water fucking drill and drop? No. They took away more fucking jobs than probably anything in the history of the South. They annihilated tourism. They annihilated the Gulf. They killed so many fucking from cancer. Spray and disbursement to this day. They filled off public beaches. British patrolling. British patrolling. Filled off American public beaches. Facts. Talk to anybody down there. Barney mammals couldn't, media couldn't get in there. Freelance media couldn't get there. Private security forces from British patrolling. This isn't America. This is the Queen's colony. Yet we don't pay for the military complex. So you as the taxpayer pay for this mass. You know how many billions? You just look it up. And that's not even counting the Patriot Act. The Patriot Act, mission accomplished. He's sure on that shit. Mission accomplished. George W. Prescott, Hitler, Bush. Fucking Winston Churchill, fucking Bush. By the way, look up Winston Churchill, that alcoholic fraud. Look him up. Look him up what he did before he was prime minister. 
Look it up. Scott, how many people did he fucking wrongfully accuse and have killed? These people play dirty. They play hardcore, and they play... Michael Savage paid co-op. Think about the story of freaking Pat Tillman. If that doesn't... I mean, that's when I knew this country was completely gone. My daughter was dating the producer of Amy Goodman's show. My beautiful, incredible daughter from here. And I said, how'd she get that position as the designer as an incredible... Hard work. Hard work. I mean, this girl freaking went to FIDM in L.A., freaking paid for her herself. Went to New York on her own and worked her way up. Hardcore. Just a brilliant hard worker. She's dating the producer of the now at the time. I know. So we're all going to dinner, Christmas 2010, when I'm in New York City, holding up my full statement, trying to organize in the 100th anniversary of the Shirtwaist Fire. Don't you love all these artists? Bruce Springsteen, freaking Lie to Lie down 7th Avenue, all these New Yorkers. Patty Smythe. Oh, we're full. Many artists come. Full? Who made that bitch the gatekeeper? What did she do? She stood with a fucking, took her shirt off in 1978 with a shirt on and says, stop the clock. In 1978? She's, not, she's the gatekeeper? These are pathetic motherfuckers. These are pathetic fuckers. Done nothing. So, it comes out, Pat Tillman's mom exposes. I gotta see the film before it came out. I gotta see it. I'm like, this country's gonna go psychotic. It was a order execution murder. Right from the crystal. Michael Hastings. Rolling Stone article. Where's Rolling Stone? Where the fuck's Rolling Stone? Where the fuck are those? It's like Snowden. I got an argument about Snowden. Oh, they, they're supposedly Greenwald, and these guys got another document. I said, that's all I've heard for two years, Greenwald. There's a fucking fraud from hell. Noam Chomsky one of the greatest frauds in American history. They're frauds. Snowden, that's a fucking fraud placed by the CIA. I can guarantee that. He gets a fucking platform on 60 minutes. Oh, they dangle in front of our, oh, we have these fucking nuclear options. Nuclear, they dangle, they never show any of them. They never put any of them out. He's a shield. How does a guy who fucking going after this so-called thing get a platform on CBS? 16, I have the email leaked to me. I have all kinds of stuff leaked to me. I have an email leaked from the president of CBS to the executive producer of 60 Minutes. 60 days after Fukushima. Hey, if you want to cover up Fukushima, you need to do it on 60 Minutes. Snowden got a platform on 60 Minutes. Brian Williams? Oh, yeah, that's a really a counterculturist. <laughs> you dumb fucking fainting goats. You believe in 18 trillion or your death. You go to work, fucking 65, work two hours a fucking day, watch your dollar be fucking trash, fucking think you got it going on, you're fake stone, you import illegal labor from the fucking south, pay them cash, when you got a fucking fake stone, I mean, when they put fucking big brutes here in each of the school, hard, fired, molded bricks, one brick, one brick, $15, $20 in the resale, and the replacement was cinder block. Painting over Picasso. <laughs> this country's gone. Not going, gone. Fukushima, the capitulation to it. The mass murder of North America. As the oligarchs begin to eat their own, they went too far now. Anytime it has cancer, so many of them are going to. It doesn't matter. It doesn't give a fuck. It's a great equalizer. I call it the reverse lottery. Yeah, I've been there. Oh, I've been there. I walked this fucking horrible walk. Operation Foxconn has had you. The Queen's military. Pay the Dragon Slayer. It's right out of the old playbook. They play the long ball. Oh, fucking. They used to send guys into the fucking woods. From the community. Pay them to do it. They'd fucking cut themselves up, give themselves artery, maybe straighten them, walk in and say they were fighting the dragon. Then they would go to the town and say, hey, give us everything you've got. Hey, the dragon slayer. This is the Queen's military. Oh, Amprax going to get us. Oh, these terrorists going to get us. ISIS, what's the new one? To go extract their fucking natural resources. Fuck the World War Three. We've been fighting World War Three fucking the whole time. It's too blind to see it. It's called nuclearism, cancer. Get ready for your fucking cancer treatment, fools. Stan Smith. Not me. I fight all back. All fighters, all hands on deck. All hands on deck. All hands on deck. All nuclear fighters, all hands on deck, all hands on deck, all hands on deck. They'll be calling you a radical. Plume gate, 311, whatever you want to call it. I call